a pretty cold end of the month, I'd say. But you know, yeah. if you remember, we, we started the month of November pretty warm, like oh, 70s. And that seems yeah, right. So long ago. <laughs> it doesn't it? <laughs> it does seem so, so long ago. Today I'm going to do the December outlook because tomorrow's the last of the month. And when you look back on November, you're going to say exactly what you two said. It's going to wind up average, but that's because we had some very warm days. Yeah. And we had some very cold days like today. So if you put it all together, that's how you wind up with average, right? And I think December is going to be kind of like that. There's going to be some really cold snaps, and then there's going to be some mild temperatures where you might think about playing golf. Not you two. <laughs> you. I might think about playing golf. All right, so uh, this is the D December temperature outlook. This is model output from a model we call the CFS, the Climate Forecasting System. And what you're looking at there is where the model thinks the warm and the colder temperatures will be. In the blue shaded areas, the model thinks the month will be below normal temperature-wise at the end, where you see the orange and yellow. That's where the model thinks the temperatures will be above normal for the month. The white shaded areas will be close to normal. So you can see for Baltimore here, this particular model thinks will wind up at the end of the month slightly below normal with the temperatures, with most of the cold kind of focused up in New England for December. Now let's uh, march ahead and take a look at the precipitation, right? Because that's what we all want to know. Is it going to snow? Finally in December, last couple of years we've had very little snow during December. I think this year we have a better chance of seeing some snow around the holiday than we've had in the last several years. And you can kind of see that here on this computer uh, model output. There should be some dry weather, at least according to this model, back into the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley. But the storm track that we've seen for the last couple of weeks and we will see in the first uh, couple of days in December coming up from the south, you can see the computer model thinks there'll be above average precipitation from the southeast up into the mid-Atlantic. Just because there'll be above average precipitation doesn't necessarily mean it's going to snow. It has to coincide time exactly right with the cold air. And I think we have a couple of shots at least for some accumulating snow during the month of December. One of those might be next week.